I'm the founder and CEO of this company. Anything that happens in this company is my responsibility at the end of the day, and I hold myself responsible for, for that. That was Elizabeth Holmes in 2016, well before her world and her company Theranos collapsed. Then the youngest female self-made billionaire in the world. She graced magazine covers as a game changer who started a healthcare tech company at 19 with the idea to draw and analyze blood with a tiny pinprick, turning it into a $9 billion business. John Kerry Rue broke the story in the Wall Street Journal in 2015, exposing the company's alleged faulty medical technology and reporting on what the U.S. attorney called a scheme to defraud investors, doctors, and patients. I'd say where she crossed the bright red line is in the fall of 2013 when she commercialized a, a product, a medical product, that she knew did not work. Holmes and Theranos COO Ramesh Sunny Balwani were indicted in 2018 on two charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and multiple counts of wire fraud. Both deny all charges against them. But shocking new court documents reveal her defense will likely present her as a victim, claiming a decade-long abusive relationship with Balwani, her ex-boyfriend. Holmes attorneys writing that Balwani's control included monitoring her calls, text messages and emails, physical violence such as throwing hard, sharp objects at her, restricting her sleep, monitoring her movements and insisting that any success she achieved was because of him. And further claiming Mr. Balwani controlled her so much, essentially dominating her and erasing her capacity to make decisions. I think it's an opportunity for her to get the jurors to sympathize with her. She does have incredible charisma. She's a chameleon. Uh, she can really put on a, a terrific act. Bawani's attorneys are firing back, saying, Ms. Holmes' allegations are deeply offensive to Mr. Bawani, devastating personally to him. Now, Elizabeth Holmes is expected to testify in court. Now, if convicted, she could serve 20 years in prison. A separate trial for Sonny Balwani will be held in January of 2022. And NBC News reached out to attorneys for both Holmes and Balwani and both declined to comment on the case. Guys? All right, Natalie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.